What's up Video Fort Nation? I'm Magic Bard and for today I've got an update to a one of our more popular tutorials, the advanced screens green screen effect um, that we made back in 2013. So I'm doing a little update to that, the After Effects CC 2017 version. Um, roughly the same, but adding a little few tweaks to it. So I'll jump right into this one, try to keep it shorter, straight to the point so you guys get it and are creating epic green screen looks. So um, as you can see, I'm previewing this one right now, but you guys get the basic gist of it. Um, we're going to create a green screen look by using key light. So what I'm gonna do is take your green screen footage and create a new composition. And we've got that right here. So you can see my green screen run. One little key is when you're doing green screen, um, you don't have to fill the whole frame with the green if your actor doesn't come out of the green screen, right? Uh, so most of you guys know that, which is nice. And um, so I'm gonna apply an effect called key light, okay? And drag that right onto your clip. Now, when you're using key light, you can see this little 32 right here. So th basically what that means is it works best in 32 bits. So all you have to do is click on that and then change your bit depth to 32. Most of the time it could be on eight, but um, we're gonna go with 32 on this one. So we've got that and open up your effects control and let's start keying this out really quickly. So I'm gonna take this screen color um, eyedropper tool and then click on the green screen right over here, right? And you're gonna see it does a pretty good job of getting that out. Now you can really see the effects by going into your screen mat and seeing the contrast between white and black, right? So the black is what's being keyed out, white is what we're going to be saving. So you can see there's little, let me zoom in here, little black parts in here that we're going to get rid of and turn white. So let's do that. I'm gonna turn the screen gain up a bit and that will get rid of all the white inside of the black. So we're looking good there and then mess with this screen balance. So I'll turn that not too far. And depending on your clip, okay, and the, this is a 4K clip, so if you guys are shooting in HD, your settings are going to be different. Um, I'm gonna go with a 45 here. And then I always like to add a screen pre-blur um, not a lot, but just a little, because nothing is ever exactly cut out. It's always, there's always a bit of a blur. Okay, then we're gonna open up our screen mat and start to clip our blacks and our whites. And what you'll see happen here is it will, this is all finessing your green screen, right? So, and you don't wanna really overdo it. Okay, so you see I got all I've got my white silhouette almost perfect at about here and that's looking good. Okay, and then what you can do is double check it by going to your where it says screen mat, mat and go to your final result and see how it looks. So it looks like she is pretty keyed out. Another way to check it is by adding a background that is uh, pretty glaring, so or blaring, or whatever you want to say. It. Go to New Solid and pick this nasty bright red, and then throw that down here, and then see if any of that red is popping through uh, the hat or skin, and it looks like it's not, so that is good. Okay, I always like to check my green screen by doing little things like that. Um, I also have a nice little sunset background, so I'm going to throw that down here and just scale it up so it fits my composition. Okay, so she's going to be on this sunset. Now, the next thing I like to do is use my green screen effect to create a mat. So all you have to do is duplicate the clip, okay, so Command D to duplicate it. And then what we're going to do here is turn our final result on this top layer to screen mat. Okay, so now we're going to create a, basically create a mask, okay, with this white 
channel. Um, so now with this top layer, okay, we'll call this the screen mat layer. And then we'll call this guy down here our uh, original clip. So now with the original clip selected, we can go to our track mat and then select luma mat. Now what that's going to do is create a mat, so almost like a choker mat, okay? So now what you can do is with your top screen mat selected, you can finesse it even more and really start to shrink your mat. So say on your clip, you know, mine's pretty well lit so I don't have to deal with much of the green but say on yours if you see a little bit of green coming out on the sides the best way to get rid of that is going to your screen shrink and grow and then shrink it so go into the negative value so maybe like two and you'll see it start to shrink so it's basically the same thing as a choker mat right or a mat choker so I'll go with a negative one because I already like the look of what I have and then the other thing you can do is you could turn this key light off on some clips and then you won't have to deal with this uh, the D the D spill okay so when you apply a key light effect it does a small bit of color correction to get rid of the spill from the green screen which is your lights hitting the green screen and then coming back and hitting your actor right um, I tend to like that and then what I do on top of that is just color correct it so I'll show you how to do that really quickly um, let's add a Lumetri okay now this is the new part of what's going on today that we don't have in our original tutorial so we're gonna go into our Lumetri um, get into your creative and now what you want to do is color correct the clip so it looks like that she's on this uh, sunset so I'm gonna turn up the shadow to a yellowish orange and then also the highlight to a yellowish orange and then you can see she starts to fit our scene a little bit better okay now turn that on and off to show you what we just did so we have the more bluish tones right here and then we are getting into it okay okay cool so another thing I want to do is get rid of this uh, our background right so I'm gonna zoom out here once and um, use the pen tool to create a nice little cutout okay so now we have our actress in the scene and the last part is um, see how the edges are so harsh and it's not really reflecting this sunset in the back We want to create what's called a light wrap. So I'm gonna take this screen mat Duplicate it twice command D command D and then select both of them go to layer Precompose so we're gonna precompose these and call it our light wrap now This is very useful when you have explosions in the background because you want your um you want your light wrap to wrap a light okay or the explosion from the light around your actor it just it looks more real so let's uh, turn these on for now just so we can see what we're working with here and um, so we got two screen mats now what we want to do is with the top screen mat I'm going to add an effect called invert and so that's going to invert it and then on top of that I'm going to add one called a fast blur and now I'm going to take this track mat and turn it back to luma mat just like what we've been doing and you can also in the, and then you can start to see the light wrap just barely so if I turn this blur up to maybe 20 25 let's try um, you can see the light wrap start to come in and let me just turn this up to give you a better idea of what's happening so this white part is going to be this sort of light wrap effect coming around our actor okay and you can use any color for that light wrap so if you're doing an explosion um, yellowish oranges are good reds and 
that kind of stuff. So uh, 91 is too much. I'm going to go with maybe 30. Um, and that'll be good enough. And fit this back and then go back to our composition. So now we have our light wrap. Okay. And then we can also cut this one out as well. So, you know, with your light wrap selected, use the pen tool to go around it. And let me fit this back. Let's duplicate our background layer, put it right under our light wrap, and go to track mat, luma mat, just like what we've always been doing. And now, just very simply, just like that, you've just created a light wrap. So I'll turn it on and off to show you what's happening now. I don't like using the background layer as the light wrap because what happens here is she starts to fade away into the background as you can see right here. Um, so what I like to do is with our background layer selected I'm going to add a fill and then use this color picker, picker tool to pick the brightest color closest to her. So it's going to be this sort of yellow color. And now what we've got is a nice little wrap of the sunset. So let's go with this one right here. Uh, it's too white. Um, and really what you're doing is playing around with it, making sure you've got it all right. Um, I want it to blur out even more. So I can double click here, go back into my light wrap, and turn this up a little bit more. Come back into here, check it out, see what we've got. And what you can also do is turn down the opacity um, of this layer, so maybe 50% and that looks a little bit better. Okay, so that's a great way to make it look like your actor is in the scene by adding these um, little tweaks like that. And then guys, essentially you're done. We created our quick little Lumetri color correction. Um, if you're doing color correction in After Effects, I recommend you guys doing that Lumetri and uh, our light wrap. And this is an advanced green screen because most of the time people just add a key light and they're done. But if you guys can add, you know, spend a little more time on your effects and adding a little bit more to your key light, like the light wrap, like the extra uh, screen mat, then you guys are on your way to becoming an epic visual effects artist. All right, guys, this is the advanced green screen tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. And we've got a lot of things planned for you in the future. This is Video Fort on Magic Bard. And I'll see you guys on the next one.